we're going to show you how to do some comps on MLS. So once you log in to Flex MLS, you're going to go into the search, quick search. Always choose residential unless you're doing land or lots or multifamily, but typically we'll be in residential. So populate your search screen. So for example, we're going to use 16 Palmetto Point. So if it was ever listed, it'll show you that. So you go over and click list, it'll put it into a list for you, and then you'll see 139 and 190. So you'll be able to see when these were listed. So this is back in 2003. It was listed and sold. So it was listed for 192,000. It's a two bed, two bath. You'll be able to see these bedrooms and baths are over here. You'll get used to looking at these MLS sheets as you do more of them. But you'll be able to read some of the information from the listing. And as you scroll down, you'll be able to see the closing date, which is down here, sold date, and the sold price. All right, so this is 2003, so obviously it doesn't make a huge difference to us that it's sold in 2003. But this is how you're going to run some comps. So you're always going to go to the map, and this is where the house is. This is the map. So you can do a little satellite version, and you can see where it is. But I typically just used to like to use the map. And then I'll scroll out. So whenever you're doing comps, it's really important to look at comparable neighborhoods, comparable properties in the same neighborhood. So you're always going to look for major dividing lines to really get a good idea of, uh, of where things are selling. So when you come down here, you can choose these rectangles, circles, or you can draw a polygon. I always like to draw the polygon because you can dictate exactly where you're going to be looking. So as you click on each point, it'll show you where you're highlighting and you can get pretty specific in terms of how you want to draw that. So this is the immediate area. Once you double click it, it'll set the boundaries of it. Once you set the boundaries, you come over here, X off of the street address, and then go into status. So right now there's three active properties in this polygon. You can click on active, hit the control button so you can select multiple statuses and then click active under contract and close. So <clears throat> as you can see, and then you can set the dates. So under contract date would be in the last year, sold date would be in the last year. So as you can see, right, absorption rate is really high in here. So this particular area has 35 total results and you can see just by color that three are under contract and three are active. So out of 35, six of them active or under contract. It's a really quick absorption rate, really high absorption rate. So obviously the majority of things have been sold in here. If this was mostly green, you want to be aware of that because that means stuff is not selling and that could be a problem. So now that you have your 35 listings, we want to take a look and see what is comparable to our property. So before we looked at it, it was a two bed, two bath, 1600 square foot. It's a Castle Harbor model. So as you can see on all of these listings, it'll tell you where it is, what complex, and what the model is. So these are the three that are active. You have a Lakeview, a Lakeview Plus, and a Capri. And the Capri is listed at 219. More than likely, that's a renovated property because this is a Lakeview at 139. So big disparity in properties that need to be renovated and properties that are renovated. And then you'll see these are the three that are under contract. Two bed, one bath, as low as 59,000. 80 Bayabu, we actually sold this to another investor um, right down the street, 1,680 square foot. That's a Castle Harbor. It was listed at 240, it's under contract. I know for a fact that it got 250,000. So the comp isn't 240, it's 250 here. So as you continue to scroll down, you'll be able to see, okay, so what has sold? in the last 12 months. You know, 97, 100, but what you're really looking for is the two bed, two baths, but you wanna get comparable with the model. So this particular is gonna be a Castle Harbor model. 
Um, San Salvador for 140, that's probably a good investor that bought this. Um, if you scroll down, you can always see what the terms were of the of this of when it got sold. So you can see whether it was a conventional loan or if it was FHA or if it was cash. If it was cash, you either have somebody that just had the cash to purchase or in this particular case, it's probably an investor. Um, you can go back to list after you get out of detail for each one. Okay, so as you can, so it's all listed in price order in that particular area. So I like to scroll down and see what kind of the bigger um, units we're getting. So the Lakeview, these are all Lakeviews. So these are smaller units, 1,232. There's not a bunch of Castle Harbors. Castle Harbors are the most um, desirable. So the Lakeviews go for anywhere from two to 215. Um, that Castle Harbor went for 250. So when we're gonna comp that property, we're gonna look at you know, a cross section of what is selling, how fast are they selling, right? The Castle Harbor that we looked at sold in a day. It was in the market for a day. This particular Lakeview went for 38 days. This one went for in 34 days. So days on market over here. Um, 36, 34. This one sat a little bit longer. It looks like it's renovated. It went for 154 days. So I always want to take a look and see why that's, that didn't sell real quick. Um, so if you look, it was originally listed for 219,000. So they were trying to get the top of the market. It looks like they did a nice job here. Um, garage door, they did some trim work. They painted the brick, new front door, little window box. Um, so I like to scroll through the photos and see, you know, what took this one so long. To sell, looks like it's got nice wood floors, crown molding, newer windows, some columns. Um, you know, some people just don't like columns, right? Specific type of of uh, amenities sometimes doesn't always work to your advantage. So um, this one, they built the refrigerator into the wall again, kind of personal preference, and you know, every every guy has their own way to do things but overall really nice job right everything is done properly looks like it's done well so i just like to go through here and see is this a comparable property for for what we're looking at and then top notch um so from a buyer's list perspective you know that these guys are buying and selling property so they could be great for dispositions to get a hold a hold of so if you come across information like this always kind of think about the, the totality of the business Yes, we're looking for comps so we can go out and make a margin on what we're purchasing. But if we're going to wholesale that property, these are good guys to, to get in contact with or at least pass that information on to dispositions so that they can get in contact with them so that they know what they're selling. So that's typically it. Um, you know, I always like to look at active under contract and sold properties so you can get a real good cross section of what you're looking at. So so we're going to see that castle harbor on palmetto point right it's a two bed two bath this one's under contract so i like to go in and once you get into the detail of the report you can look at a few things you can look at the history to see if it was ever sold before and tax information is always going to be helpful information for you because it'll tell you who the owner is this is who we sold the property to and it'll also give you all the public information as you scroll down, right? So it'll tell you what the last market sale and date was. So we bought it for 145 and then we sold it for 160. Palmetto Point, obviously if we can get in under that 145 mark, then it's gonna be a win. The goal is to find out where they're actually at. We actually have Palmetto Point under contract right now. We got it for 130 and we're, we're sending it out to our list at 160. So, this one is ours, so we know what they sold for. But if, let's say, you wanted to go see what this Lakeview sold for, you could go in to the list, back into the detail. This is a Lakeview model. It looks like it was remodeled. Go into the tax record and see, okay, so what can I sell this thing for? Right? So you know that they bought it for $105,000. So 
if you're going to wholesale this deal, we need to make sure that we're under that. So when we go into a Lakeview model that needs work, you know, we'll start at 90, 95, 85, depending on their motivation, right? So we'll have the conversation with them and try to figure out where they're at, what they need. And we know that we can sell it at least in theory at around 105, just based on what other investors are paying for to sell those properties. And it's easy to find your built-in buyers list for this for dispositions as well. All right. So that's about it for now. We'll go into deeper um, MLS training in the future.